My name is Mike Hemmelgarn. Uh, I live in the... Oh, it's hard not to look at the camera. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, I live in Dayton, in Dayton, Ohio. Um, and But I travel about a 200 to 250 mile radius because uh, I found that people don't like to come to my house for the shows. They like me to actually go out. So I go about a 250 mile radius from Dayton and I uh, do probably 70 library shows um, a year. Uh, and, and schools, libraries, fairs and festivals, corporate events, all kinds of, uh, of things. What got you started? What got me started? Was that good? Well, let's see. What got me started is I saw a ventriloquist on TV when I was eight years old. And, you know, you don't know why things capture your imagination. But for some reason, I saw him and I thought, you know what? That's cool. You know? And probably lots of kids in the library will probably have that kind of thing happen. And, but I never lost it. Um, and even though I didn't pursue it right away, later on in life, I kind of kept going back to that. And uh, finally, one day, my dad sent me something, and it was an article about a, a convention they were having, a ventriloquist convention, which is kind of creepy. So I went to that, and that was it. Kind of got me started, and I added juggling because a friend taught me to juggle, and then magic is a natural part of that. And now I have a show that includes magic, juggling, ventriloquism, and all kinds of cool stuff. So how many years have you been doing this? About 20, probably about 20. How many years have I been doing this? About 20 years. So how do you transform the imaginary into reality? Wow, that's a weighty question. How do I take the imaginary and actually put it into my show? Um, there are certain things that kind of spark, let me give you an example. There are things that spark your imagination. I was going through a hardware store looking for something. I saw a saw. It was just this bowed saw with a blade, a hacksaw, I guess. And I thought, you know what? If I took that blade off, I could put a chain there and make it a chainsaw. You know what I mean? So I took it, I did it as a gag, it, it worked really well. But sometimes just in everyday life you see something that triggers an, your imagination and then you just kind of start working on that with your, your mind and you develop something new. And so how do you do that with your puppets with the audience? A lot of times it's uh, just something the puppet will say. Um, it's a kind of an ad lib, a remark that has to do with some, something somebody says. And, um, and then I think if you like it and it works, you make that a part of your show. Or sometimes you, can, you ask yourself, how can I make that more generic so I can use it in every show? Somebody's not going to sneeze in every show, right? But what can I do? And, and so, you know, kind of like that. Uh, I think show business and, and your show is kind of an ever-evolving thing. And you just pick up little things here, little things there, and you try to incorporate them into your, into your act. So which of the characters are your favorite? I think hmm, one of my favorite characters is an old woman character named Rosie. And she's 92 years old. And uh, there's a lot of funny stuff you can do with an older uh, puppet. And she works well for adult shows. She works well for kid shows. So I, I think I like her. And what makes a show successful for you? I think if you know when, when your audience is with you, you know when they're into your show. I think when I leave after, say, a 45-minute show and I know that that audience was, was with me and I know that they had a great time, and uh, I, I think that's, that's how I know. And so what drives you to continue to be a ventriloquist? It's fun. It, it's uh, something I really, really enjoy doing. Um, boy, I, I can't think of any one specific thing um, that, that, uh, that would make me want to keep doing it other than I just love the whole artistic process. I love the idea of setting up for an audience that has never seen me in a place I've never been, or a place at least I haven't been for a year. And, um, and I love the challenge of trying to connect with the audience and to do something really cool.